Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. Welcome back to Let's Play Rogue Galaxy. We are in the Gulza Sanctuary, picking up Dragellums. Uh, which means we're going through the past of our main characters. In we go! Raul? Can I ask you something? If I go into space one day, what would you do? Would you come with me? No, I like this planet just fine. I'd wait here for you to come back. Hmm, okay. Going up into space has always been my dream. And now here I am, just as I'd hoped I would be. So many amazing things awaited me here, just like I'd always imagined. How long are you planning on standing around? Why not come over here and have a seat? Huh? Are you talking to me? Who else? Hmm? How do you feel about space now that you've seen it? Well... Let's see. It's just as fantastic as I pictured it to be. My life here is full of suspense, excitement, fear, and lots of fun. And I can feel it all so deeply. Ah, so your dreams come true then. Yeah. Hmm? So you mean your dream was just to go up into space? That's boring. What? My dream is more than just going into space. I'm going to change the universe. Because, like, there's not a lot of food on this planet. I, I bet that somewhere out there, maybe there's a plant that can grow in the desert, you know? Or maybe a medicine that'll cure any sickness. Or a weapon that'll drive out all the bees at once. Who knows? Space has a lot of possibilities. So that's why I'm going to go out there and do whatever I can to make all the planets better places. Hmm. That's my dream. What do you think? It's way bigger than yours, huh? How could I have forgotten? My childhood dream wasn't just to go into space. I wanted to accomplish so much more. As I grow up, I'm forgetting my childhood dreams, one by one. But some dreams shouldn't be forgotten. Now, interestingly, we have the Dragellum of Desire, the, of Pride, uh, of Courage, and of Compassion left. You okay? What's wrong? Oh, nothing. I just... hope all your dreams come true. Uh-huh. So, you've remembered. There is much left for you to do. Make this child's dreams, your dreams, a reality. Go now, Jaster. Mm-hmm. All right. So. Oh. Foolish humans. 
Do you think you can defeat me with measly Dragellum power? surpassed all life forms my powers are infinite mere humans like you could never defeat me if only it weren't for these silly trigellums the galaxy would be blessed with eternal peace time to face the true humans no! The Queen's lackeys. How impudent. <laughs> really? Hey, just a my boy. Burton? A and that robot. <gasps> Ragnar! Listen here, robot. This isn't getting us anywhere. Can't you do something? How about you unleash some of your ancient power, eh? I have drawn energy from all of Mariglent to construct a barrier. Brilliant! Whatever you just said, then let's do that! <laughs> what precisely did you think this would do to me? No matter. Your power won't last long anyway. And when it runs out, it's the end of the line for you all. First off, Burton? Really? Burton? So weird. Burton? How did you get here? No time to talk now. I'll explain everything later. The Queen told me all about you, folks. I have used the power of Mariglent to form a barrier. Even Mother will not be able to harm us. For a while, anyway. Come, we must hurry. There are still Dragellums to be collected. The final battle has already begun. Yep. Come on, robot. Let's get out of here and go tell the Queen! <laughs> I just... I'm baffled! by why he is such an important character in this story. It's so weird. It's so incredibly strange. Like, I just, he's such a lunatic. All right. Now, I believe the next path, the path directly to our right, is the path to the actual sanctuary. So I think we go this way now. Thank you, Raul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody gets different dialogue. We get it. We'll know if the first chest in this area is an acceleron chart. Babble! <laughs> like I need this. <laughs> Fair enough. Really need to illusion sort these guys. We're not done yet. Alright, good. That's how you get it done. Lapis Lazuli, or Lazuli. That's not helpful. At all. Not even kind of. This is getting not out even of a hand. Alright, well at least we have a marker. You have the willpower. And, uh, wish! 
By passing your trials, you will have taken a big step forward in life. Go on, keep going. <laughs> Blue. <laughs> like, all right. N nobody come up with the obvious song reference. Here they come. All right, Here I get it. Come. Here they come. No Why don't you wonder how them? Because I really like wonder how. Now get rid of all these obstacles in our way. Alright, cool. <laughs> Those guys were no challenge at all. I should also spend that crystal staff. Oh, I take that back. We travel and we hit uh, double chests, one of which is a mimic. That thing is our enemy? Yeah, it is. That is your enemy. Okay. Here they come, the bastards. Let's get this. Okay. You guys gonna want to beat up on you like that? Jeez. That was one more sick. one more hit to finish him off, and you guys are just like hanging around. We're gonna have trouble getting through here. All right. So there's a mimic. That's an acceleron shard. We don't really need it either. Come on, try me. Wonder how. Lightning three. That'll take care of the blizzards. Does nothing for these guys. That's okay. Jester. All right. Let's just leave it at that for now. I, I really hate to do this, but mimics can have things like crystal staffs and stuff. Here so. we go. All right, let's get this over with. Sorry. Okay. Can't you just let us go? Yeah, can't you just let us go? There we go. Alright, we got nothing for that. Nothing. Okay, at least we have good hints on the next the next one. There's only two treasure chests in this passage. But the second one is under the second overpass. That thing is our enemy. I'll take you. Ugh, ice eaters. Here they come. The bastards. Okay. Gotta really watch the ice eaters. Because they can completely, um, the ice eaters can completely, um, freeze our entire party and game over us. I've had that happen. Uh, we're gonna be very, very, very lucky. Popping up like crazy. To get uh, the next regalum. I mean, we had that mother cutscene and stuff. Just keep coming. Well, here's the thing: we don't even Come we don't on, even have to fight this me. one. Well, that's that. From here on out, we're on our own. Yeah, we know. 
I only have you in my party right now. Because, you know, I... Here they come. Come on, try me. I only have you in my party right now because your dialogue changed. The next dialogue change I get, I'll change to that party member too. We're gonna have trouble getting through. Oh, here. maybe I missed uh, the treasure chest with four elixirs in it. It's this not a huge deal, actually. But I mean, we certainly yeah, missed the, 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 the treasure chest. It must have been on the other side of that one overpass. So we're gonna have like two more videos of these, because we're gonna get one out in this video, and then we'll have three more to go. Is this a vision? Funny. Robots don't usually have visions. Wonder what's going on. Mark. I'm gonna keep working hard. You'll see. I'll be turning out inventions left and right, just like the old days. Doctor, still mourning Mark, I see. I guess Dr. Picaccio really needs his son. It's so sad. No, Steve. That's not it. Huh? Mark? Take a look, Steve. And this one is nearly finished, too. I'm so excited. I must have had a little too much to drink. I should know better. What? It looks just like a human. Dad could see what was coming. He knew we wouldn't have much time left together. So, he went to work and started preparing for a new life. That's Dad's new life. What he's working on over there. Huh? What, what do you mean? He put my memories in you, Steve, and made you experience lots of stuff. But not just because he misses me. He did it because he wanted to perfect his new robot, too. You see? He's making that one for you. Do you understand now? That's your new body, Steve. What? My... my new body? You always wanted to be human. And that way, Dad would be able to love you just like he loved me. Right? Well, uh... More than anything, that was your greatest desire. And Dad, he knew that. That's the reason he started making it for you. You're right. I did want to be like a human. I always envied you, Mark. You see, it wasn't just you who had this desire. It turned out to be Dad's dream, too. D Dr. Picaccio's? What he wants is to set out on a new life with the two of you. That is the dream that you two share. That strong hope, the power that you both have in your hearts. Here, this is for you. Well, so in some way, these are visions that are actually happening. I mean, that's a present vision. back at the past anymore he started moving on toward the future there's no need to worry about him well I guess this is goodbye Steve Mark 
I want you to take care of Dad. Since I can't. Mark! Poor Steve. Alright. So we have three left. Which, again, I think will take about two videos, I'm, I'm hoping. Oh, we can exchange points. Hecaton? Oh, blizzards, huh? Doesn't matter. We're number one already. Um, okay. So, we have three more. Um, which... Lilica, Jupus, and, uh... Uh, Simon. I'll see you guys for those. And you take care. Thanks for watching. Bye, everybody.